Hey everyone, welcome to my second Master League episode in PES 2019. Last time around I only just began things and uh, I didn't get to cover much gameplay. I only played a single match but like I said back then it was just to get the episode out on launch day to celebrate the launch of the new game. In the second episode of course I'm going to cover much more. Uh, and in the meantime if you remember in the previous episode I set up a scout it wasn't very efficient I didn't get any results yet and that playing that match actually was very useful playing that first match against Liverpool and losing it has really helped me understand that I need to improve defense and midfield and for that reason I set up new scouts and this time without specific countries just uh, the continent so I will be looking for a center back from Europe Hopefully we'll get, uh, you know, the larger the scouting area, the more results uh, you will get, the more players you'll uh, be able to watch. And also a midfielder, again, just a general position, not mentioning anything in particular. I might get a youngster and keep them in from like the cup matches and just have, have him on the bench and stuff. So yeah, a center back and a midfielder from uh, Europe. And I look through the contracts of my current players again and... I noticed some youngsters that I don't think will get much playtime this season. So I have, um, as you can see here, I have uh, them listed for uh, a loan. So I'm waiting for offers. Hopefully, we'll get some in this episode. Uh, and of course, the matches that we will play three number this time. The two remaining matches, as you can see on the right against Basel and uh, Lyon and the International Champions Cup and then I think the transfer deadline day is on uh, the 31st of August so we only have a three four weeks we only have a few weeks to get the players that we want and also loan the players that we want and then the league will, will begin as well so three matches in this episode let's move to the first one Basel at the International Champions Cup and we do have to win this competition it is one of our objectives so here we go well that's the first chance that they had and I've yet to take a shot on target but at least I am in much more control than in the match against Liverpool and well I had this expectation Oh, that looks like a nice pass. In fact, oh yes, oh yes, no. Oh, we still. Okay, they are defending well. I probably should try across this time. Set it away, but we do maintain possession. Not for long. Oh, and we can launch a quick corner attack here. That was very good defending. They will stop the ball. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this guy is fast. He just stepped in. Oh. Oh, my goodness. So, I made about five subs. And it's incredible the difference between the players you had until now and the players that just stepped in. I mean, look at this guy. Look at how fast he is compared, and he's not necessarily a speedy player, but compared to the uh, more tired defenders in Manny Face there, it was just amazing. I forgot about this. Stamina really does have an effect on gameplay for people who say that they don't really feel the effect of it. Well, trust me, it does have an effect, and it's, it's clearly visible when you're sobbing in fresh players. Now, of course, I wasn't about to get lucky. Got a throw in. My only pressure here is time. It, it's kind of ticking away. Very close to the last 20 minutes, so I uh, have to try and score a goal at least. Love the physicality and just how much more present it is this year. Great interception. Come on, keep it. Yes, there we go. There we go. Good passing. No. 
Ah, uh, wanted to stop and turn around. There it is, only a couple of minutes left. Two more have been added. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it, but if I would get a late winning goal, that would be pretty sweet. Oh, let's see, let's see. Come on, Jonas! Ah! <laughs> Unbelievable! Now this is what I'm talking about. I really had little hope left. I saw the aperture, I saw that guy there on the left side, plenty of space, was able to pass it back, oh my goodness, and there it is, I might actually win this in the very last minute, that was a wonderful pass, and the shot was also good, oh, I think I'm getting ready for my first win, this is exciting, there it is! 1-0 in the 94th minute, I've scored the goal that uh, got us the three points at the ICC. Let's see how the other teams have done. I think Liverpool... Oh, whoa! Well, well, look at that! Liverpool lost 4-0 to Lyon. At least I now think still have chances. Well, this is going to be quite the task, so I'm going to face Lyon, obviously, for the final match. They have six points. I'm not sure, but I think even if I beat them and get the six points, I have to score six goals? My goodness, they've scored six goals and considered none. So, I have to beat them 6-0 in order to win the ICC. Because I do think the goal difference will kick in in case uh, the points are tied. Jeez. Well, okay, I'm going to try and win anyway, because that's what I want to do in every match. Any offers? No, not quite yet. The level of the leader team role has increased to 2. Hold on, did I? Oh, no. I thought I also placed this player on my loan list. But fortunately, no. He has played well, very well, actually. Come in in the second half, and um, you saw that right away he had a chance. And in fact, I'm going to start him today. I think the rest of the team looks okay. I might want to replace Diaz with, let's see who we have here Conti. Uh, Lozano, because I think he's. Also the leader, or something, it definitely increased team spirit, so I'm going to make him captain. Oh, did that? Yeah, oh wow, look at that, so picking the right captain tremendously improves your team spirit, that's great. Okay, so Lyon, final match at the ICC, I'm going to try to win it, hopefully I win, and we'll see if I also win the trophy or not. <laughs> That's quite a way to start the match. Already got in my box and look at the pressure they've put on here. And he got very close with that shot. Oh, great save. Goalkeeper saved me indeed that time. Oh, Pitts is doing well to get the ball back, I thought. It would be a wasted pass. And let's see. Mid support. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my goodness, that was a really good chance. And I really did not see it coming. I just went with the flow of the game. And uh, got something. Okay, time for the corner kick now. Let's see. And I lost the ball. Oh no, oh no, oh no, great goalkeeping by Vlaka Dimosek. Called, uh, called him off his line because uh, otherwise, definitely, the pie would have scored. Alright, so, end of the first half, 0 0. 
not a bad hot first half at all uh, we were under pressure at times we had our chances too so that's fair and um, Lyon well much tougher than Basel you can really feel the difference between the teams and what can I say the fact that we didn't concede yet is good but we will have to try and get a goal quickly enough in the in the second half so I'm not sure if I'm going to make any changes probably Silva is a bit tired and I think I'm going to replace him again with Zivkovic or maybe Salvio this time let's see yeah this can work out okay so the mission for the first 10 15 minutes 15 minutes of this second half is to score a goal fingers crossed oh great passing my goodness can we do it oh no I can't believe it Woo. man I'm seriously enjoying this game and the very very encouraging thing is that the AI plays in Master League and become a legend just as they do in exhibition mode I really don't feel cheated anymore you don't see me angry I'm thoroughly enjoying this it's very exciting and also very tense when you have to uh, defend so it captures the emotions just right there we go there we go I love the fast passing but this player is definitely a bit tired slowed down there oh my god ah, if I could have just got another pass to Fernandez got the ball back good job oh my goodness I think this player whoa, whoa 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 don't get in my way there Jesus Christ no 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 this is not good this is not good oh there's little oh my goodness he's onside he's onside great save I love this goalkeeper oh my goodness I am at the end again I'm at the end will I get lucky and win the second match in a row at the very last minute and oh no of course I wouldn't get that lucky it's all over Lyon have won the International Champions Cup and I failed my first mission I'll have to see what the owner has to say about this but it has been a very very exciting match tense and oh, look at that Liverpool trash by Basel as well Jeez, in a little bad form. Ah, we we'll finished second. That's a bit of consolation. But I only scored one goal. Sure, I only considered one as well, but I only scored one goal. We'll have to see how things are in the league. There are many more, you know, teams, more varied play styles, some weaker teams than others, so we'll have to see how things go in the league. Um, Vlaka Dimo's overall ha overalls has increased, no surprise there, he's had some great saves both in this match and in the previous. Uh, Conte's overall has increased to 81, Zivkovic's overall has increased to 80, no decrease, but no offers either and... Okay, here, here we go. I was afraid we'll go straight to the next match without receiving anything. An offer for Servi? Has been received for Atalanta, but he is no. He's one of the players that is done good at this International Champions Cup. I want to keep him. Definitely not one of the players on my loan list. No, okay, not been completely finished second. The owner has adjusted one of their goals for you. Review the change. Okay, let's see. That's the International Champions Cup over with for another year. Now we have the new season to look forward to and you know what that means. New heights to aim for. I'll let you know what we're aiming for soon enough. Well, at least he's not upset that we lost it. Um, we got... Okay, we got about a million and a half euros from uh, this competition. And that went to the salary budget as I uh, set it. Right, so let's see. I like these pictures, by the way. Missions. Okay, I failed this one. Sorry. His, uh, his trust has went down 1%, so... Okay, nothing too drastic. Of course, we have to finish first in the Liga Nos and become champions of Portugal. Negotiations. Scouting. Oh, we found something. Let's see. Sanchez. 
Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm still getting lost in the menus a bit. Sanchez. Well, he's young, 22, that's pretty good. We do ha have pretty good chances of signing him, but... Alright, his salary is 4 million. <laughs> Jeez, that's about half of our entire salary budget. Market value at 22. Release fee 26. Contracts ending on uh, the 31st of August 2021. Okay, well... I do think he is a good defender, looking at uh, the stats and everything. Mm, but uh, we also have the options of a loan transfer. Forgot about that. Let's see team roll effect, fan favorite bonus. Okay, nothing too interesting. Let's see, request a one-year loan offer for this guy. I would. Ah, this is difficult. See, this is what I like about Master League have to think a lot and it's all about decision making and responsibility oh let me all right so they're offering under the market value and he will still be around with us for at least three years wait how old is he 24 I could keep him maybe for another year or two if he performs well then I could sell him on uh, and if a bigger sum, so I'm gonna have to turn down this um, offer, especially because he's a good player. I liked what I saw from him at the International Champions Cup, and I would want to use him this season. So back to scouting. Let's see. Um, Sanchez. Right. So let's request a one-year loan. Transfer fee from... Uh, okay, that improves fee quite a bit. 5,384,000. Uh, that's within our transfer budget. So let's see if they'll consider this. Alright. Good. Let's advance time a bit. Okay, a new player has brought our attention. Good, let's see. Scouting is very efficient, it seems. I've oh, got a midfielder too, three midfielders. Alright, so let's see, we've got uh, Paredes. Uh, first of all, Linetti from Sampdoria. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we can consider him. Then Paredes from uh, Zenit. And then Mesa from Sevilla. I do believe Paredes, yeah, is he's the highest rated of them all. But I'm sure he will be the most expensive one as well. Let's see. Oh, he also has a longer contract period than the others. Ooh, Linetti has, uh, has, doesn't have a release fee set. Paredes, 32 million. There we go. Uh, yeah, he's going to be the... He's the best, but obviously also the um, most expensive of the bunch. And Linetti... Yeah, it seems like I'm going to gravitate between these two. And fortunately, they're pretty close in regards of salary, as you can see there, and market value. So, considering that Linetti is slightly low rated, I see that Mess is much better in defense and uh, the speed department, also dribbling and passing. So... You know, since they are pretty similar, let's start negotiating for both of them. Let's see. So... Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. So his market value is at 12 million. Alright, so... I'm going to offer them 8 million, almost 9 million actually. Ah, let's give him a 5%. Uh, I'm not going to trade players. Player salary, I think I can bring this down a bit. To just about here. Oh, contract left. Mm -hmm. Well, let's... um. 
if we make this two years, okay, that will bring down the chances of signing in the negotiations with the player himself just by 2%. So I'm going to extend that to two years. And why not give him a win bonus? 3,000, uh, 3,300, that's enough. Okay. And we also negotiate with Mesa, why not? We seem to have big chances of signing both of them. So... Alright, I'm going to up the transfer fee here a bit. Give them 10%. Um... It seems very happy with the terms actually, 2 years and a 2 million salary. Let's give him an appearance bonus to further increase our chances, we're already on 100%. And since we are here and don't have to spend anything else on increasing the contract length, let's try to sign him for 3 years. So, I think these are pretty good uh, terms, I think I've made some pretty good two offers. Ferreira is definitely a great player but pretty expensive. And pretty hard to get right now, considering my budget and all that. So let's see. Let's advance the time a bit and see what progress we've made. Um, as we're getting ready for the first league match, before that, a national squad update. An offer for Jordel has been received from Kaiseri Sport. There's been an update in the transfer negotiations for Sanchez. That's great. National team squad has been announced. Uh, seven players from Benfica were among those selected. Let's see who. Um, oh, Faisa, of course, playing for Serbia. Oh, <laughs> and just in time, I imported all the kits. Look how nice he looks in the actual kits in, in that picture. Uh, player status. All right, so we got Faisa, Silva, Zivkovic, Samaris, Ebrei, Castillo, and Krovinovic. Plenty of players, I'm very happy for them. Now, let's check the negotiations. Okay, so... What's this? Alright, so only only Tonom has responded. So I think they asked for... Yeah, they asked for 148,600 euros than, um, than I offered. Nah, that's not too much. But I'm going to pay quite a bit just to loan him, I mean 5 million, but he's a good defender, so I'm sure he'll help me out. Um, and look at that, a 23 billion market value, that's pretty good. So I offered 8 million for Linetti, 11 million for um, Mesa, let's make that 9. So about 20 million to get these two. And I'll pay, for no I'll pay another 5 to get Sanchez. So that's about 25 million. We, our transfer budget is 36 billion. I think we'll manage. And if we get these three players, it looks pr pretty promising, I think. It looks pretty promising. And I think uh, they will help us. So, yep. Let's get Sanchez. There we go. Alright. Uh, oh, there has been an offer for Jotel. I think... Yeah, he is one of my older players, 32, and hold on, how many defenders do I have? So I have him, Conti, Lemo, Ruben Diaz, Luizao, and now also Sanchez. Uh, I think I can sell him, why not? So he's 32, Luizao is 37, but he's like the gem of our team, the leader. Um, but let's see, Conti is 24, Lemo is 28, DS is 21, Luzao, uh, like I said, 37, and that's it for our center defenders. So, how much are they offering again? 16 million. His market value is 17 million. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good offer. Um, yeah, I can sell him. So, like I said, we will still be left with four defenders and Jardel will actually be replaced by Sanchez which is also much younger and much better value actually so yeah let's accept that we also have to sell you know and look at that all of a sudden 47 million our transfer budgets I forgot that you can also sell players so obviously you will increase that budget by doing so uh, all right so now that we have a much higher budget uh, I got Sanchez, I'm still uh, negotiating with uh, Mesa and Linetti, 
and since this module has increased quite nicely please do leave your um, suggestions in the comments down below which players do you think I should look for uh, in defensive and the defensive and the midfield department uh, I might get another one now uh, but I don't I actually don't think there's much time left we'll have to see uh, already we have to oh did I see that Porto Porto well what a way to start the league huh first match day and a classic already First match day, and I'm playing at home in the derby against Porto. No, 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 no pressure. <laughs> no, no pressure on me at all. Ah, okay, so Jordel has left the club. Sanchez has joined up with the squad. Perfect. Good. Ooh. Wow, look at this. Is this... Um... This is really nice. I wonder if this is the actual like TV intro or something. If it is, I hopefully won't a copyright uh, strike. But uh, I wasn't expecting this. That's nice. This is what I'm talking about, Konami. You can do so much with your with your licenses. I don't think it costs more money to completely utilize the licenses than to actually get them. All right, congratulations on signing your first player. No doubt you're looking forward to seeing him in action. Bear in mind, however, the newly signed players may not be accustomed. All right, we know that. Uh, oh, that's very nice. That's like a derby poster, isn't it? Nice. I like it. I like it. Um, I criticized in the reveal or the second um, um, trailer something. The second video I covered, Peso 19 News, I did criticize the fact that menus won't change that much but at least we have some new content in the set menus we have some new cinematics as we saw in this mode in become a legend as well that very nice intro i'm now actually curious to see if they have intros for the other leagues license leagues obviously and also the derby poster thing that we just saw i think that's that's very interesting adds a lot to the game so okay i'm not sure why this is considered an update Still waiting for an answer from Sampdoria and Sevilla. But we have to get ready for our first match. Where is Sanchez? Right. Oh, I forgot. Look at this huge selection. I love it. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm going to replace Luzal for this first match. I need some strikers on the bench as well. Ooh, shiny. Nice. Let's replace these guys. Fernandez played very well. And I will start him. Let's see. Uh, we've got Salvio. Okay, we can replace some metal with um, Ferreira. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, but wait. In fact... Wait, let me start Luzao in this match. Hmm. Start instead of Diaz. And Diaz. Yeah, I think I can keep him off the bench. Okay, so we've got the captain there. PC is in bad form, I didn't notice that. So let's see who we have here. Felix. I could play Kravinovic. And now also needs a midfielder. Well. Okay, you know what? I'm going to start with Sanchez. Um, and replace Conti with a midfielder. None of them in extraordinary form, but let's get... Uh, yeah, let's get some medal, why not? Okay! Woo! Ready for the derby! Fingers crossed, everyone. It's my first league match. And what a match. Oh, and I forgot. Oh, what else? Oh, I have to win the first match as well. Because, yeah, rival match. Going up against Porto will be a true test of our skills. There are no pushovers, but I expect us to come out on top in the end. Of course you do. Well, I have to do all the work. <laughs> We've got a... F oh, the cuts in. Very nice. I'm liking this. Come on, boys. Let's hobby this up. 
Oh no, did I just lose? No, I didn't lose my settings in game plan. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, I can feel the tension in the air. Not only, I mean, I would have been nervous anyway because it was the start of the league, of the new league season, but now <laughs> we're starting to get in a big derby against Porto. Look at that. Stadium is packed. Our supporters have high expectations. We have to do well. We're facing the current champions. Big rivals. So, yeah. No pressure. Are those ad boards? Those are real ad boards. Alright. I'm seeing this right. Those are actual ad boards. Wow, that's great. That's great. Again, I kept saying this. Make full use of your licenses. You'll make both the licenses happy and also the customers. Okay, enough talk. Time for action. Oh, Sanchez. A great first touch. That is not a good start. That is not a good start. I didn't even see this coming. Oh. This is not good. Wow, look at that. Okay. I was playing Master League in challenge mode anyway and now here is a new challenge just in this match. Oh, that's a great one. What can we make of it? Uh. Oh, oh, oh! Got a bit lucky, just a little bit. In the way I was able to keep the ball, but there you have it, an equalizing goal. Woo! And before halftime, that's good. That's always good. Look at that. The teammate got in, in my way there. I still don't like this. It was something that kept happening in 2018 as well. For some reason, your at least one of your teammates is completely on the way and gets in your way, but like I said, I got lucky, kept the ball, passed it to Jonas, and equalized. All right, it's a derby indeed. Oh, Sanchez. Thank you for proving me that uh, I picked the right player. Go, 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 come on. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes, nice pass back. Oh, my goodness, you... Goal! What a goal to take the lead in the derby, finally! Uh, this is what I wanted to see. 2-1, oh, far from over, but what a great comeback. Look at that goal. Oh, yes. Yes. So happy to see this. Okay, now it's on. We're in the lead and I'm sure Porto will start pushing really hard. Oh, Sanchez again. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on, I was doing so good! They have floating heads. <laughs> they have floating heads for supporters. It, that was a... that was weird. I think the cinematic triggered in the wrong place because those were all Benfica fans. Anyway, oh man, I really was playing well. I had another chance and I just controlled the match after scoring that second goal. And instead of scoring the third one, I can see that. How much time left? Of course. Why? Oh, this is so... 
frustrating because we played really well. Oh man, it was great, you know, the atmosphere was great. The players played better than until now. I guess, you know, that extra motivation of having to face your uh, rival mattered. But what a silly mistake. Right at the end of the match, 2-2. Two, two. We really deserve to win, honestly. We really deserve to win. <sighs> it, it, it's even more frustrating, not because of the result, but because I really, really enjoyed this first match in the league. Seeing that intro, seeing actual ad boards, the atmosphere, and just the game, the game flow and the gameplay. Physical, it really felt like playing a Portuguese league match. Probably the equalizer felt the same way, so... It's just frustrating because I enjoyed everything up until the very last minute. Instead of finishing it off with the joy of uh, a victory, I'm just a bit frustrated because we haven't won. Oh, okay, at least let's see what progress we've made. Updates in the transfers of both Linetti and Mesa. That's great, let's see. Right before into this video, that's good. Ooh, owner's trust is down to 44%. I didn't win the first match, I did win against our rivals, but hey, I do like how the team looked. Sanchez, as you could see, what does he have to say? It's a shame we couldn't win this one, but now all our energy has got to be focused on the next game. Uh, so uh, just so, uh, so I was saying, Sanchez already proved to be a great transfer, played very well in this match, so I think soon enough he might be a permanent, permanent member of the starting 11. So let's see. Alright, so Sampdoria is fine with the offer I made. Okay, Sevilla is asking for about 400,000 more. But that's fine. That's fine because again, my transfer budget has been increased. So that'll be about 11, almost 11 and a half. Ah, whatever. Let's get bored for them. Not going to negotiate any further. I've got nothing to change. Okay. There we go. And we still have 27 million left. So again, if you have some suggestions, if you think about any players to suggest for me to get, I'm open to suggestions. Leave them down in the comments. And let's have a peek at what's coming next. Oh, the best player, Euro best player awards, Ronaldo, okay, and there's the fake trophy, uh, actually, there already is a mod to have the UEFA actual trophy back in the game, I just forgot to include it, of course, as I always, I just always have to forget something, alright, so now for, oh, oh, yes, the players, that I wanted to loan. I'm not even going to mess about. Just uh, let's see. Okay, so they want him from a, for a year. Okay. Good luck at your new club. Right. And Felix, Cardiff City wants him for a year as well. Okay. Good luck there as well. Our transfer budget up to 30 million again. There's Linetti and Mesa, our new players, just to join the squad. Alright, and our first match in the next episode will be against Bellonensis. I think I got that right. Alright, so there's our final look at the changes we've done to the team before we end this video. So. Uh, Felix has been loaned to Cardiff City, uh, Ebrahi has been loaned as well, Linetti and Mesa has joined, have joined the team and Sanchez has been loaned from Tottenham. If he keeps up the performances and plays every single match from now on like the one he's played against Porto then I'll definitely, definitely consider buying him. 
So, that's it for our second episode. Quite a bit to chew on in this one compared to the first one, right? Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed every match in this episode, especially the derby. I love that uh, the AI plays just like in the exhibition mode in Master League. It was frustrating just how different it was until now, uh, how well it played in exhibition mode and how just cheating and frustrating it was in Master League. So I'm glad to see that has been improved. The AI feels natural again and um, other people have noticed this and I agree. I think if in the upcoming patch they can fine tune the AI and improve like attack variety, that would be great. Most of the time it does seem they are only uh, putting in low crosses from the sides in the box. So. If they add a little bit more variety in their attacking play, that will be even better. But even so, I do like how aggressive the AI is and how it forces you to think about every pass you make. Think about how you're going to attack, how you're going to defend and all of that stuff. So, thank you for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying how this series is shaping up so far. I will see you next time and starting tomorrow... Get ready for the first batch of international matches in PES 2019. There will be international friendlies that I will cover, but also the UEFA Nations League. So here is a bit of an announcement. Uh, I was planning, as I said before, to create the missing European teams and have them ready for the Europa League so I can cover every single match. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that. It was simply humanly impossible to get everything ready from Thursday to Wednesday or th the next Thursday when the Nations League starts. Also with these matches I want to start my new schedule that I announced way back uh, right after the end of the World Cup. I said that uh, starting this season I will upload all my videos a day before the actual match that I'm simulating will take place. So Wednesday matches will be uploaded on Tuesday, Thursdays will be uploaded on Wednesday and so on. That means that the first Nations League matches that I will cover will be uploaded on Wednesday. So I really just couldn't get the teams ready until the day after tomorrow. Uh, I have to organize my time in editing and getting things ready, recording, editing the videos, uploading the videos and publishing them and all that stuff so I'm sorry for this first match day I'll miss out on all the matches I think the next one there will only be played from this Thursday until I think next weekend so for about a week and after this week the next match day will be all the way in October so I'll try to get those teams ready for the October matches for the second match day I hope you can understand that there's no option failure no patch that adds those missing national teams so it's just something that I want to do because I want to cover every match this competition will be fully covered a fully covered tournament of course that means commentary and all the glamorous stuff that I like to make and you like to view and I, for that I thank you very much so yeah hopefully I'll get everything ready for October okay so now I really am going to end this video thanks again for watching and see you next time